What a beautiful day in the forest. There's a rock, and a deer, and a plant. Let's take a closer look at that plant. Inside the cells of the plant there are chloroplasts that absorb UV light from the sun. The plant also absorbs water through the stem. And finally the plant takes in CO2 from the stomata. And when you put it all together you get C6H12O6. Also known as sugar. The plant also releases O2 from the stomata. Then an animal like a deer comes to eat the plant. Oh no a wolf runs. As the deer runs its stomach, lungs and the mitochondria in its cells work hard. The stomach takes in the sugar the deer ate from the plant. The lungs take in O2 that the deer breathes in. These two are then transferred to the mitochondria. The byproducts of which are H2O, CO2, and ATP. The deer lets out the H2O through natural processes and the CO2 by breathing. The byproduct that is important to the deer is ATP, which is energy that the deer can use to move its muscles and run away from wolves. And thus the cycle continues, the plants make sugar and O2 and the animals make water and CO2, over and over again, animal and plant both giving each other what they need to survive. Thus, is nature.